Hello, my beautiful Virgos. Welcome to your bonus love reading. This is going to be for Virgo, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus. Please do note, it is a general message. So what does that mean for you? It means that you will need to use your discernment and your intuition to determine what messages are meant for you and what messages are meant to be left behind for someone else. This is a timeless reading. So whenever you find yourself guided to this reading, know it is meant for you. We are all on different timelines, so this could be happening right now, could have already happened or be happening in the future. Feel free to check your other planetary placements for you or the person that you are watching this video for. If you are unsure of what your moon, rising, or Venus sign is, there is a link in the description box down below this video to a free natal calculator that can help you suss out that information. And last but not least, if you're looking for how to obtain a private personal reading with me, or to connect with me on social media, disclaimer, don't do a whole lot with social media outside of YouTube. Those links are also into the description box down below this video. All right, my beautiful Virgos, without any further ado, let's jump into your reading. The first thing I'm gonna pull is your overall energy and the hidden energy at this time. All right, Spirit Guides, Angels, Ancestors, what's going on with my beautiful Virgos? What is their overall energy, please? Show me clearly, precisely, accurately, what is going on with Virgo at this time, overall energy? All right, we got the Five of Pentacles. What is the hidden energy? What is the energy that they're not aware of? The Knight of Swords. Let's give me one more on the Knight of Swords, please. Clarify this beautiful Knight of Swords. Something? Okay. King of Pentacles, bottom of the deck. All right, so overall energy is the Five of Pentacles. So some of you, not all of you, have suffered some type of loss or feelings of loss, feelings of rejection, abandonment. I mean, these could be past issues that are coming back up that has been triggered, a I mental was triggered. Um, for some of you, others of you, this is, you know, also debating whether or not you can leave somebody in the dust. Some of you may have also I mean, going through a financial hard time at this, in this moment. Okay, so hidden energies. We have the Knight of Swords coming in with the Ten of Pentacles. So someone's moving very quickly. Some of you, it could be a family member. Some of you, it could be somebody you're in a relationship. Somebody might be coming in. Not, it might be. Some of you, somebody's coming in with an offer of, for the Ten of Pentacles. They want to build a life with you. They want to have, have a family with you. Some of you, this could be a marriage proposal, okay? For others of you, this could be a spouse or somebody even in a long-term commitment that is acting impulsively and stupid with your finances or with your family. And it's causing you a lot of stress. Again, it's going to be different for all of you. All right, so let's take a look at the tarot and see what's going on. All right, spirit guides, angels, ancestors, let's take a look at Virgo, sun, moon, rising, Venus. Take a look at past, present, future energy, and possible outcome. For my beautiful Virgos at this time, please show me clearly, precisely, and accurately the best messages, advice, and guidance for Virgo at this time. I'm getting told two more. And then split. Alright. Alright, past energy. We have the Ace of Cups with the Judgment card and the Wheel of Fortune. Whew, okay. Current energy, we have the Four of Wands, the Nine of Swords, the King, or the Knight of Wands. Future energy, Six of Pentacles, Two of Swords, the Queen of Swords. Possible outcome here is the Empress, the Chariot, and Nine of Wands. Okay, some of you are going to definitely be fighting for what you want. All right, so um, Virgo, we have the Ace of Cups, Judgment, Wheel of Fortune, and the past all big major cards. So something major was happening here uh, surrounding around love. You guys wanted a turn of good luck. This could have been the, the divinely guided, but a judgment call is in the center of this. So something needed to be a decision, a something had to be let go for this love to come in for some of you. Some of you could have been letting go or this person let go of this love. Um, not all of you. Current energy, four of wands, nine of swords, 
and the Knight of Wands. Some of you, this has to do again with the stability, a long-term future of a relationship. It could be a marriage. It could be a family unit. There's a lot of anxiety, a lot of worry. Um, current. This is your current energy, Nine of Swords. You're you're definitely worried about a loss here. Some of you, I'm getting getting told that you guys experienced a loss. Some of you, this was a child. My apologies and uh, condolences. Um, Knight of Wands is <laughs> passionate forward movement taking some type of action or want to. I'm going to come back to this card because I'm also picking up something else, but I don't want to go there quite yet until we have more confirmations on it. Six of Pentacles is things needing to equal out. A decision that needs to be made, but somebody doesn't want to make it. And then the Queen of Swords making that decision anyways and cutting out something that no longer serves your best interest for the possible outcome here is the Empress. New beginning, abundance, birth of new ideas, new blossoming relationships. And feeling victorious, this is moving towards your ultimate dreams, goals, and aspirations. This is you taking control of the situation. All right, spirit guides, angels, ancestors, let's get clarifiers on this for my beautiful Virgos. What is this Ace of Cups energy? What is this Ace of Cups energy, please? And then Nine of Cups. One more, please. Page of Cups. All right. And what is this judgment? The Ace of Wands. The Four of Swords. Mm. And the Wheel of Fortune. Okay. Seven of Cups, the Five of Swords. Mm. And the Ten of Wands, Temperance at the bottom of the deck, Sagittarian Energy. Okay. Let's dive into this one for a second because I'm getting multiple messages um, with this spread. So you guys are going <laughs> to, you guys are coming through big time. All right. Some of you, you guys were presented with an offer of love or wanted to present an offer of love. Or this could be you or the person, by the way, that you're watching this for. Remember, intuition and uh discernment on what is meant for you okay however this plays out cross watchers feel free to swap the roles so either you or somebody that you are dealing with was wanting to bring this offer of love okay some of you it could be an apology for most of you this is an offer of love and i'm getting beautiful brown eyes um so somebody that you this could be somebody who has brown eyes for some of you um beautiful very um almost kind of looks like uh, tiger glass um with that yellow green in there. Um, anyway, uh, that's not neither here or there. This felt like a dream come true. This life felt like wish fulfillment. This is something either you or them had been waiting for. And I feel like the judgment call comes because you or them were contemplating on this passion, you know, making a passionate stance here, making this passionate offer um, for, you know, this could have been them offering it to you, you offering it to them and somebody needing to take out a time out to consider their options here, to consider what is in their best interest. Because they're, I'm feeling a lot of passion. I'm feeling a lot of drive. I'm feeling like you want this person. You, one of you wanted to go for it. Both of you wanted to go for it. But at the same time, I'm also feeling a, a opposition pull. And why is that? Well, let's see. We have the Wheel of Fortune here. So things were turning and moving in your direction, in your favor, Virgo. But you had somebody in your midst trying to sabotage this. Now, this there was a, somebody was carrying a heavy load, a heavy burden. I feel like somebody was keeping it secret. I'm, I'm being drawn to the moon. The moon is the shadow side, things that are hidden, not revealed. And I feel like, you know, this is kind of what it, somebody was walking this alone, holding in a secret. It was a major, you know, magnitude here and feeling very burdened down by it, weighed down by it. Seven of Cups in these options as well as confusion and emotional overwhelm. Um, the Five of Swords is definitely here. And I feel like you, them, someone's either self-sabotaging, thinking they can't do this, trying to hold a secret that I'm, I'm actually understanding that if it would have came out, wouldn't have been a big deal. But the more they concealed it, the more hot water they got into. Um, for others of you, this is actually an outside source trying to sabotage this connection from coming together. So let's move forward now there was definitely balance that needed to be struck here 
and definitely people needed to be or was on the defensive. There it is. High Priestess told you secrets. I felt it. I knew it. Secrets. Hiding in. Someone was hiding a big secret and it was a heavy, heavy burden. What is this Four of Wands energy? What's this? And the Queen of Pentacles. Okay, so it's the Emperor. Okay, so I'm going to clarify the rest of these before I jump too far into this. What is this Nine of Swords energy? This is the center of your spread. Queen of Wands. Queen of Wands and the Seven of Pentacles. The Knight of Wands, please. Ten of Pentacles. Mm. The Knight of Cups. Thank you, Spirit. The Six of Swords. Okay. All right, so I've got two different storylines going on um, simultaneously. Okay, so some of you... So you were looking at finding the balance between you and this person. Again, you know, there there was a lot going on. Somebody was keeping secrets. Someone was trying to sabotage things. Things were pretty heavy. Heavy. I do feel like you guys were working, trying to work on balancing out for the stability in the long-term um, partnership. Some of you, this could have been a mother. I'm getting a mother who was sabotaging this. Overall, Taurus, I feel like this is you. Things are looking good. Things are balancing out. Um, you're wanting to build this solid, solid foundation. You're wanting to get married. You're wanting to have children. You're wanting to move this forward. Some of you might be married already. This is just like solidifying the foundation with which you have built your life. Um, but for others of you, I'm going to be honest with you. This is a marriage that is in turmoil and legal action because somebody got the queen and king of wands here at the seven of pentacles. So this is evaluating this mar this couple there's a lot of passion there's a lot of fire there's a lot of drive and there's a lot a lot a lot of uh games being played between these two um i'm definitely getting this up you know because look i gotta point this out i can't ignore it for some of you this is somebody who was the king of wands was out you know was out selling his wild oats while you know the wild pony here um you see in the in the nine of swords, you have the lady in red, and there's the queen of wands. Um, so you could you could have have a marriage that's in turmoil because somebody was stepping into a third party situation, and I hate going to third parties in that direction. But and you're evaluating. This is why you're in your head. You're evaluating the potential. Is there anything left to invest in? Um, coming through, we have the knight of cups, the king of pentacles, the six of swords. Uh, with the Knight of Wands. So this is taking action. Um, I feel like you're going to have an apology or a love message come in. This could be from a whole other source. Or this could be this person telling you, look, I, I still love you. I want to make things up to you. I want to build our family, have our family. I want, I want the family life with you. If you're not already currently involved or have a family, this could be them telling you they want to build that life with you. I'm sorry. Can we move past this? Others of you. You're moving past of it towards new love by building your future, your legacy. Um, I do feel like you guys are moving slowly because the truth is there. The higher font, some of you are going to get, you know, again, this has to do with marriage. Some of you are going to hold back out of fear. Um, let's move. This is kind of where you currently are. Um, let's see what the Six of Pentacles is. So this is the card about balance. So see if things are balancing out here. Six of Pentacles. The Emperor taking action. The Eight of Swords taking action, no longer allowing others to be in control. I feel like you're breaking out. Yeah, Six of Cups. Somebody's coming back. Virgo, Six of Cups. Somebody, a soulmate, is coming back. And this is divinely guided. So this is new love coming in. This is a new offer. Somebody wants you to move on from this past situation. Take the lessons learned. Let it go. Move on. Get in that boat and motor away towards what's going to really bring you true abundance and long-lasting love i'm liking where this is turning so this is getting stuck out of your prison somebody's returning from the past it's divinely guided it's going to be honestly it could be an aquarius for some of you um but this is going to feel pretty darn good it's going to restore the balance 
Um, with the star and the six of pentacles, it's all about balance, baby. This is going to be somebody who's going to give you what you deserve. They're going to match you. Effort for effort, love for love. This is not going to be somebody who plays any games. Yeah, they're going to eight of pentacles. They're going to work hard at this to build this life with you, the ten of pen give you the ten of cups. Happiness, joy, bliss. This is that emotional fulfillment. This is beautiful. This is what's waiting for you in your future. This is your ship coming in after this brutal betrayal. Virgo, look at that right there. All right, so two of swords. What is this two of swords energy? I feel like some of you are going to be caught between the past and the, and the future. This is going to come down to a decision. Two of wands. <laughs> I love it when they do that. And the six of wands with the lovers. Yes, it's all coming down to head over heart decision. Are you going to follow your heart? Are you going to follow your, your intuition? Are you going to take that first step on your path of your new journey? Are you going to be victorious and overcome the situation? Or are you going to resume and, and focus on what was lost here? The loss of the, of the past relationship, the loss of the job, the family member, the friend, whatever it is going to be different for all of you. Um, and deception here. The lies, the deceptions, the manipulation, Virgo. It's, it's asking you. How are you going to make this decision? Are you going to follow your heart? Or are you going to follow your mind? And again, the queen of swords. I'm hoping that this comes out that you guys are going to follow your heart. All right. Queen of swords. Temperance, Sagittarian energy. So this is connecting in with your higher self, knowing what is in through your best interest, bringing balance after a broken heart, lots of pain and betrayal when it comes to love, finding your footing, bringing in balance. Yes. You guys are going to cut out what no longer just serves you. You're going to come into balance. You're going to heal this broken heart. You're going to, this is deep healing, deep balance, deep connection. Love it. The Empress, this is brand new beginnings. Stepping into your abundance, your blessings. Page of Wands. Communicating about a fresh new beginning. Two of Cups. Eight of Wands. Moving on. Um, this could be moving, some of you moving on towards your soulmate, your twin flame. Um, spiritually guided 100%. This is a chariot. No wonder the chariot's here. This is calling your name. For some of you, this is a cancer. For others of you, this is asking you Capricorn's now showing up here. Yes, to drive away from, to drive toxicity out of your life and go towards what's truly going to align with you. Six of the sun, the six of cups. This is all about divine timing, being divinely guided, joy, bliss, happiness. This is the happiest card in the tarot. So driving away toxicity, driving towards happiness. Coming back together with a soulmate or coming together with a soulmate. Somebody who's really going to make you feel good. Really good. Who's going to put in the effort and the work on you. Match you. Footstep for footstep. I love it. All right. Spirit guides, angels, ancestors. What do we have for my beautiful Virgos at this time? Please show me clearly, precisely, accurately. What is your best message and advice and guidance for Virgo for this reading? What do we have? Okay, that was a lot of cards. <laughs> okay, it's safe for you to love, open your heart, to give, receive the highest energy of all. Bottom of the deck, worth waiting for. Divine timing is at work in your love life. I cannot make this stuff up, guys. I really can't. We have attraction. You attract romantic love by enjoying your this moment fully. We have flirt. Extend your lighthearted energy to others. Some of you have met this, this potential person. Soulmate. Yes. This is your soulmate. Let your friends help you. Ask for and support. Ask for and support from others. And chemistry. There's a strong magnetic attraction here. So some of you, you're already well aware of this new person coming into your life. They're already on your radar. Already on your radar. All right, I'm going to pull a couple energies of the person or person that my Virgos are connecting to at this time. Please show me clearly, precisely, accurately the energies or, or energy of the person that my Virgos are most connected with. One, two, and I'm going to cancel one more. Some of you are connecting with a fellow Virgo. Others are you connecting with a Libra. And some are connecting with a uh, Li or, uh, Libra. <laughs> Libra, Virgo. A younger 
water sign, Cancer, Pisces, Scorpio. Okay, so now we're going to go ahead and pull a couple of these Angel Answers cards. However many ones to come out, I have no control over that. And we'll end with some Divine Doors, with just beautiful little um, sayings, guidance from the Divine. All right, Angels, Guides, Ancestors, let's take a look at Virgo, please. What is your best messages, advice, and guidance for Virgo? This usually comes out as advice. Yeah, it's up to you. The angels are saying what happens next is up to you. There's opportunity knocking. I'm getting told one more. I'm getting told it's this one here. No. Whatever you're, if you've asked a question, and it's a yes or no question, your answer is no. Abundance. There's abundancy of capable opportunities, abundancy. It's up to you. No. Mm -mm. They're saying no. All right. Spirit guides, angels, ancestors. What do we have for Virgo? All right. We have 1111. Numbers and double synchronicity in two. Don't hold back. Your love now, your love now life is meant for you. This is a twin flame number, 1111. No kidding. Oh, wow. And I don't think I can get any more clear than that. Begin here. Do not fear what travel brings, my dear. The moment is your. Be begin now here. So this is telling you this person has arrived. They are here. They are now. If you guys have not met this person, I would be anticipating that you will be meeting them extremely soon walk about you discover your path and sacred walk about the trees are your people the earth is your tribe indigenous lessons you find the will to survive um spend some time in nature meditate connect with mother gaia um big time freedom flows don't hold yourself back from worldly freedom dream grand things for a divine sacred reason guys beautiful reading i'm so excited and happy for my virgos that concludes your bonus reading. However, be on the lookout for your March monthly. I look hey, the March the March monthlies. I'm taking a look at you and your person. Um, big spread, lots of um, oracle cards. These have been some amazing readings, so you don't want to miss that. So if you haven't already subscribed, please do hit that subscribe button. It will let you know when my video and, and notif get, hit that notification button as well. It will let you know when my videos drop. Um, otherwise guys, be sure to hit that like button. It helps this circulate for everyone. Amazing reading. So, so happy for my Virgos. Some of my Virgo subscribers that have been with me now for a year. Thank you. Much love to all of you. I appreciate each and every one of you. Thank you for being through the ups and downs of this channel. Hope things are improving. Much love to all of you. Please take care. Stay safe. Remember to live in light and love, not just today, but every day. Namaste. Bye for now.